Hi all, <coughs> welcome to that uh, channel uh, of uh, Django production. So here I am going to discuss with Django project and Django editor stuff here. So what type of contents we are going to get here? So here you are going to get all type of premium Django contents and you are, you are completely focusing on that Django and on a production view. What is the production view? Production view when your project is ready in your development, like in your local, it is completely running on your local. Now you are going to open it for your users or, or up to the world. So you need you need to do some settings there so that uh, so that people can interact with your project. So this kind of stuffs are ca called as a production view. Okay. Now coming to the part, uh, what type of content you are going to hear? So in here you are going to get all premium type of stuffs like uh, middleware. Uh, you can get how to write custom template tags as well as some uh, custom settings as well. Okay, you I am going to show you what is the best practices to uh, as a Django developer as well as I will cover if you are a fresher, I will going to cover you all uh, all that uh, interview related stuffs because I have appeared a lot of interviews so I have uh, I have no count about that so you I am going to share all of my experience here so the purpose of the video is what I faced when learning the Django because of lack of good content in internet though it has some but they are not that much up to level for mass so this is my try this will be my try to show you uh, that how it will go to okay now I am not starting to that uh, part of Django okay what is Django Django is a python based framework what is framework framework is a bunch of python codes okay which are um, which is already um, wrote for you there are some features that are already wrote, uh, written for you so here uh, uh, features like you have a security you have middleware you have um, already uh, built in models so they are they are the part of that framework to help you out okay you don't need to uh, write entire code why uh, coming to the why django because django is getting very popular okay and it's a very powerful framework as well okay um, django supports both template like like web part as well as the api part api part we need django rest framework this is another framework we need to work on that so th we will also discuss it there that is no worry about we will also discuss it so uh, django is getting very popular it's a very highly secure application and it's a highly scalable application as well okay so uh, let's coming to uh, the part that uh, how to create a Django application because you may, you may know because you are following a lot of YouTube, YouTube videos are there so they are not uh, there are some parts which are similar to them okay let's come into the part how to create a Django application so for that uh, so my operating system is Ubuntu okay uh, so if you want to a Django developer I highly recommend you to go Ubuntu because there are a lot of things are coming like you if you want to use a, uh, if you want to use any uh, uh, third party services like uh, Redis, if you want to use any third party uh, services like um, uh, Docker and um, everything, so though you can do it, I'm not telling you, you can do it in your uh, uh, Windows as well, but Ubuntu is like a very good thing. Okay. Now I'm going to create a folder, okay? Let's suppose um, I'm, uh, I'm naming it first, okay? So First thing first, you must have a Python installed on your Python installed on your system. Okay, without Python, it is not going to work. Okay, after that, uh, after that, I am going to um, check. Okay, I am uh, uh, I am opening a terminal here. Here I am opening my VS Code. So I am taking a VS Code as an editor because it's a very good editor. I am using it for years. So I have some special relation with it. Okay, I am opening a VS Code inside. Uh, inside that folder okay. if I show you my VS code here so you can see if I open my terminal here so you can see inside a desktop, desktop folder inside that first folder the VS code is open okay so if I show you my python version what is the python version I am using so, uh, so it will help you to follow Okay, so I am currently using 3.11.0 that is the uh, that is a latest Python uh, code uh, while I am uh, making this video. 
so you uh, in case of you maybe it's some different okay so let's i have stopped that so let's suppose uh, then you have to install django globally in your system okay uh, what is uh, so for install you have to type pip install django okay uh, you have to install globally maybe now this time your uh, view is very good so you have to install pip install django apart from that if you don't want to do that so i as i promised i will go with you a production view okay so let's suppose we have to create a virtual environment okay we have to create some virtual environment for uh, uh, for real demo so let's open the browser here uh, so here i'm uh, i'm searching for you install ubuntu you you must have to check with your windows as well so Uh, version is does not matter because all Ubuntu version have same. Okay, <coughs> so while you install your Python in your system, you must have to install a virtual env. Okay, a uh, virtual env stands for uh, let's suppose. Okay, for for example, in your uh, you have two or three Django application running on your system, and they are using different different Python packages. Okay, so you need to organize them. Okay. it is needed that uh, one python package will not interrupt with other python package or one version of the python package will not interrupt with same python package will different version so for that to separate that uh, um, uh, functionality you need to create a to create a virtual environment for your system okay so how to create a virtual environment so first new uh, you need to install this Okay, so uh, this uh, I already installed, so I am not going to type it for you, but you you may have. So like this, uh, you you need to install that only. Okay, we just need to install like pip install virtual environment. Okay, pip install virtual environment. While your virtual environment is installed globally, I am talking about global. It means you you can use that virtual environment package. throughout your entire system okay while your virtual environment is installed globally then you can uh, then you can go and type create your first virtual environment how to how to do that you have to install you have to write python 3 hyphen m env env so this env uh, that uh, env at the end is that name of your virtual environment so you can change it by uh, sumit env or you can change it by my env whatever name so i am going to take it as a env here okay enter so while i am entering uh, i'm just bringing down my terminal okay so you can see a environment file is installed like in bean include okay inside it include you have to have acti activate uh, okay now we need to open again my terminal here now i need to start that virtual environment okay uh, just look on that first uh, name okay So while I'm clicking on, you can see that your environment is activated, right? Your environment is activated. So if you want to, if you want to see that what are the Python packages are installed inside your environment package, whatever Python packages are installed, so you have to write pip f i w z. So you can see there is no output. So we, I am typing pip freeze. So there is no output means there is no Python package installed inside your environment. So if I going to first install the package, pip. Sorry, sorry my bad. Pip install. J. 
Django. So let the demo I'm going to get stalled. So you can see that uh, I have a I have a notice so that please upgrade the pip version because I am using 22.3 and it has 22.3.1. So it has already given me the code to update the pip. So I am updating the pip version. Okay, uh, this is one question comes from for interview from the pip version. What is the what is Python package manager? Okay, what is the Python package manager? So you have to say pip is the Python package manager. Okay, which is help us to download that uh, Python packages by command. Okay, so pip is the Python package manager. Then if I again install Python Django, so it is installed. And what is the what is the um, uh, <coughs> You can see if I write the same command, okay. If I write the same command here, okay. I'm just going to clear. It. If I if I write the same command for you, like pip pip free. So what it is can say it can say you are, we have installed Django, ASDRF and SQL parser. So you may ask that well, we have installed Django, then why they are coming to that? Because because all mm, some Python packages have some dependency packages. So they are the helper package or you can see the dependency packages. Okay, I also be automatically installed along with uh, while you install the main package. So this is the main package and they are the auxiliary package or dependent de dependency packages. Okay. So till now we are good. Okay. Now how to check that we have successfully installed Django in our system. There is another way and if you want to know that what are the Django commands are available for you for that we have another thing called if we, if, if we go like that Django admin so when you write Django admin so you can see that we have some uh, we have some uh, commands for you right uh, commands from you. For here, we are going to uh, the like we have some uh, run server command, start project command, start app command. So here I am going to help with start project. Okay. So same Django admin start project. Now we have to put a name of your uh, project name we have to put a project name here so in case my case i am going to name it test project let's see what are the changes are uh, done by the django itself and what are the packages we are going to get okay so i'm closing it little bit so you can see that a test project a uh, test project folder is created automatically and inside that okay we have another test project inside that we have some files okay so you can see the man manage.py manage.py stands for the management of that uh, django project. it will help you to run the django server okay now there's a one question come here what is the root directory of your django what is the root directory so the root directory is where uh, you have to say that where my manage.py is located is that root directory. The directory where the manage.py is located is the root directory of my Django project. Now coming to the test project. So this is the uh, project folder. Okay. We have uh, so so what as I told you was the definition of a framework like some of that. Uh, files are automatically created or written for you. So we have something called ASGI uh, settings.py URLs and WSG. This ASGI and WSGI will help you to deploy your project. ASGI will help you to uh, uh, work with channels and all. We will discuss it later. After that, we have called settings.py. Settings.py stands for setting up your uh, uh, settings, global settings of your entire project okay whatever changes you will do here it will be reflected for reflected uh, for entire project here okay <coughs> now in settings we have 
a secret key secret key is that uh, so in django what happen if you create any user with a password your password will be converted to hash okay hash mean hash stands for this kind of structure which is non readable okay non readable structure and the the password is encoded inside that hash and this is the key for that hash uh now you need to decode it when you want to access that so the decoding key is that django uses this is very important to keep it safe with you we will show we will show you uh, like how it will it, it is uh, you are going to be uh, hide it from that uh, user or hacker okay yeah we will go and show you no issue okay we have allowed host allowed host um, stands for uh, which like uh what type of ips like what type of ip is or what ips you want to go you want to um uh, we want to allow it to access your django application like django django will be run inside your cloud by uh, by some kind of services of june g uh, june got internal okay it will this allow host you will um, uh, the work is mm, it to know to inform django please support or please allow the all the request coming for these these ips okay so whatever your server ip you need, you must need to uh, write it here like like uh, 127.0.0.20 sorry 0.0.0 so it, uh, sorry zero so these are you know, these are the ip we are going to write okay we have another thing if we, if we remove everything I mean, if we write it star star stand for all like uh, the um, all request are coming from anywhere to this django application must be served okay so we have installed app so in the next video we will going to know how to install app okay we have middleware we will also discuss middleware when we create custom middlewares as well okay we have templates templates you know already the html part we will also show you in the next video we have database okay database have lot of databases like sql lite uh, currently django uses sql lite as a default database okay to um, like you can but sql lite is not for production purpose because four to five people if come in a uh, together and to make query uh, but the sql lite will fail for that we're going to use postgresql mysql this is also we're going to cover no way. as of now like next 5 6 7 or 10 videos we're going to use sql let see only <coughs> now we have static files static files stands for uh, um, uh, that your css files and all files are uh, part of static files and uh, you have some media files as well okay media file for like uh, images at all so they are part of the media file we're going to configure it and also a production point of view okay no issue now we are going to uh, we are going to run our first django application here how it going to be so we have to go inside our test folder we have to go inside the our root directory let's check it So here my uh, here my manage dot py is located means I am in the root directory. Now if I run it, Python manage dot py run server. So so you can see whatever the changes are there. First thing first in the left hand side you can see we have a db dot sql dot three is created. A database file is created for you automatically by the Django. Okay, you have something called migration. Yes, so migration. There are 18 unapplied migrations. What is migrations? Migrations are you have you have uh, written some of the uh, some of the database schema on your models dot py. Okay, and you have created some migration. Migration stand for to write the code. okay so you have some database and it converts your python code to your data to your sql queries 
okay so when you run migrations command it will create some more python files for you to do that uh, sql stuff so i have i have written some python um, i have written uh, some i have already created some python code to do that but i have not changed that okay so django already created already created some uh, some migrations earlier just you need to push it and you have to make the changes to your database how to do that you have to write python manage dot py and migrate python manage dot py migrate okay let's see i'm clear it and writing it here okay python manage so you can see uh, there are there are tables okay like initial and uh, some other tables with your user tables okay group group tables and session tables are um, uh, are already created sessions content types these tables are already created by django itself okay now Okay, now we are going to run the Python uh, your first Django project. Python manage py run server run server. Okay, so what we can see we can see that our server is running. Okay, with no error and where in uh, look this is the local host. 400 8000 by automatically it is running on 8000 so if i type it here local host 8000 so you can see that django has some built in template for you that yes your work is started so your install works successfully congratulations okay it is it is means this is your first successful installation of your python django project clear so in the next video we will going to create a application for you and we will start how to write uh, how to write urls for you we will write how to write views for you okay so stay tuned and please share and follow thank you very much